One more step on the world I go. One more step on the world I go. From the old things to the new. Keep me travelling along with you. And it's from the old I travel to the new. Keep me travelling along with you. So welcome to our little service. I am here and you are here and we are here together. And today I've got a parable and it comes in our special gold box. And because we're doing this on a table, I'm going to take the lid off the box. going to rest that there so that you can see when I bring out all the figures. Now parables are very special stories we know and Jesus told them but I wonder what's in my box. Oh look me. This is a very big piece of green material. Oh, I could hide in it. I wonder what it is. Oh, goodness me, it is so big. I wonder what it could be. It could be a big field, couldn't it? I don't know what it is, I wonder. Let's see what else is in the box. Oh, something blue, it could be a sky. be a puddle. It might be a pond. I wonder what it is. Let's put it there. I think it might be some water. Oh, and what else have I got here? Oh. I wonder what these are. Hmm. Could be a funny face. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm going to put them over here. They look very dark and black, don't they? I wonder what those are. Hmm. Oh, what else have I got? Oh. Hmm. It's a bit like a ruler. I wonder what that is. Sort of strip. Could go there. Could go there. I'm not sure. Oh, I've got another one. Where would that one go? That could go there, I suppose. Oh, goodness me, I've got loads in here. Loads and loads. I wonder what they could be. It's a bit like a house, isn't it? Maybe if I build up all these strips, there's so many of them. I wonder, I wonder what it could be. Oh, there's a few more. Oh, I think that 
that's it. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I could open it up. It could be like a, a special safe place. Hmm, I wonder. Well, let's start the story. Once there was a man, a very special man, and he said wonderful things, and he did wonderful things. And people said to him, well, who are you? And he said, oh, I'm Jesus, and I've come from God. And I'm talking about who I am. I wonder. He said, I'm like a good shepherd. Now there's the good shepherd. Now he's got one sheep round his shoulders. Let's see if there are any other sheep. Oh, yes. So we could, we could put them in there and it would be a bit like a, a sheep fold or a sheep pen. How many sheep have we got? Now, one, two, three, four. So I think there might be another one. Four. And Jesus said, I'm like the good shepherd. And he said, the sheep follow me. Maybe we'll open the door a bit more. And they go down to the water to drink. Drink the good water. And they followed me through the rocks, Ooh, the dark places. And they find the way back, all the way back to the sheepfold. And Jesus keeps them safe. And they find their way back into the sheepfold. Sometimes the sheep gets lost. And the good shepherd looks at all the sheep and he counts them and he thinks, hmm, there's one missing. I better go and find the lost sheep. And he looks round by the water and he finds the lost sheep behind a rock. And he says to the lost sheep, you follow me and I'll show you where to go. And you can be safe inside the sheep pen. But of course, sometimes mm, there's a wolf. And the wolf comes because the wolf like, he gets hungry and he gets very hungry and he wants to taste some tasty sheep. But the good shepherd stands between the sheep and the naughty wolf that wants to eat them. But 
sometimes, of course, there's a shepherd. There's a shepherd here. And he's not a very good shepherd, I'm afraid. Because when he sees the wolf, he runs away. That's not very good, is it? Jesus is the good shepherd. And the good shepherd keeps us safe. So I wonder what it felt like to be a sheep in a sheep pen. I wonder. And that's a parable that Jesus taught us that helps us to understand who Jesus is. Because Jesus is someone who keeps us safe, even when things can be bad. And Jesus is someone who can lead us by the still waters. And even when things are difficult, when we're in dark places, Jesus is still there to be with us in those dark places. And parables aren't easy, they're quite tricky. And so we can come back to the parables lots and lots of times. And each time we come back, we can learn something new. And so we look after all the bits of this parable. And we fold them up, even this big, big bit of green felt. And we fold them up very carefully. And we put them in the box. And whenever you want to come and find the story of the Good Shepherd, you can find it in the gold box with the green spot. And so that's our story for today. But we've been saying our prayers. We've been saying our prayers because there's lots of things that are a bit troubling in the world. And the prayer that Jesus taught us is the very best prayer of all. So we'll say it together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So I'm glad you've been able to join me today and so Joe and Chris, they look so bright and colourful in their rainbow coloured clothes. So it's time to say goodbye now and we hope to see you soon. No love and follow Jesus no love and follow